to spend forever making this nice looking app in Figma. And now I need to remake it in Bubble. There has to be an easier way. My name is Anya, and this is Original Strokes. Full disclosure, I actually did not create this Figma template. I got it off the community. Now, Bubble handily gives us the option to integrate with Figma. So we can create this design and it'll actually automatically create it in Bubble. But there are some drawbacks. Let me show you. In order to use the Figma API, we want to click here, go back to files, click on my account settings and scroll all the way down. Here we have personal access token. Now I'm just gonna click generate a new token and we can call this Figma test. I'm gonna click generate token. I see it here, I'm going to copy it. Now I've opened my bubble app, I'm gonna go to settings, click general and scroll down. I want to go all the way down to this design import section. Here we see API key. I'm going to paste in the access token we just. Now I'm going to go back from Figma. This has quite a couple things on it, but this shopping app page is really the only thing I want. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all of the unnecessary pages. So we can import only this one. Then I'm going to go up here to Figma design and copy the string after design all the way from this slash to the other one. Click copy. I'm gonna go back to my bubble app, settings general, right where we pasted the key, and I'm going to paste our file ID in and click import. This is gonna take a bit, so I'll check back in with you when it's done. And we're back. Let's see what it made for us. I'm going to zoom out so we can see the whole page. At first look, there's a little issue here where it's squished. But in general, it was able to build it out very, very nicely. Or so it seems. But the problem with doing it this way, and I'm going to zoom back in, is that this is inherently not responsive, which makes it almost impossible to turn into a responsive way. Which makes it almost impossible for you to make it responsive without having to redo the entire app. Is this really that big a deal though? You do have a nice app that took us, what, seconds? And this is what you see when you click preview. This is not responsive, so it does not fit my screen size. It only fits one arbitrary screen size. And that's not this. If we view it on even more screen sizes, we see that it's just not usable as an application. Even on a laptop on the biggest screen size, it still doesn't fit. It'll look like some combination of either this or way too zoomed in. The reason is because these are using frames. like so, instead of groups. It's using things that are across of Figma's design and bubbles. The result is unusable, complicated, and very hard to add functionality to and make responsive. A much better way to do this is just take the extra time to build it out. I still highly recommend using Figma to design your application beforehand. Just don't rely on their integration because it's definitely not there yet. Let me know what you think in the comments below.